Hello everyone, my name is Javier Aguilera Lizarraga. I'm a postdoc at the KU Leuven in Leuven, working in the intestinal and immune interaction lab led by He Bookstands. And it's a pleasure for me to uh, guide you through a recent publication in GAD entitled Effect of Resolving Some Sensitive Session of 351 and Visual Hypersensitivity in Irritable Bowel Syndrome. Irritable Bowel Syndrome, or IBS, is a functional gastrointestinal disorder characterized by chronic abdominal pain and a normal bowel motility in the absence of obvious structural or biochemical abnormalities. Abnormal activation and sensitization of 351 or tri another trip channels are recognized to be an important mechanism of visual hypersensitivity in both preclinical models and patients with irritable bowel syndrome. And sensitization of 351 is mediated by muscle mediators such as histamine. In this study, we evaluated the role of resolvins, which are a novel class of endogenous mediators with potent analgesic properties that have been demonstrated to reduce pain, uh, somatic pain via interaction with three channels. However, to what extent these new mediators can also affect three channel sensitization involved in visa hypersensitivity remains to be evaluated. Thus, thus we, uh, we studied the role of uh, resolving D1, D2, and M1, and the activation and sensitization of 351. We also evaluated the role of these resolvings in, a submucosal, uh, in neurons from the submucosal plexus of patients with irritable bowel syndrome. And finally, we evaluated what was the effect of treating uh, with these resolvings to preclinical models of this hypersensitivity. To evaluate the role of resolving some TP1 activation by capsizing, we pre incubated the RG neurons with resolving D1, D2, and U1 at different concentrations and, and evaluated the, the calcium response at different doses of capsizing. As you can see here, the resolving D1 did not inhibit TP1 activation uh, compared with the, with the fecal. But, however, uh, higher doses of resolving D2 and resolving U1 decreased the calcium response uh, to capsizing. In of interest, uh, low doses of resolving D2 and resolving E1 did not inhibit 3 one activation. And then we evaluated the effect of these resolvents on histamine induced sensitization of 3 one So, first we uh, uh, pre incubated the RG neurons with, uh, with the resolvents and then we sensitized them with histamine. And we observed that resolving D1, D2, and E1 prevented the histamine induced 3 one sensitization. Then, in another experiment, we first sensitized neurons with histamine, and then we treated them with the with the resolvins. Of interest, <clears throat> of interest a, higher, a high dose of resolving D1 and resolving D2 reverse histamine-induced TP1 sensitization, but a lower dose, but a lower uh, a lower dose of uh, resolving D1 and resolving E1 did not have such effect. As we saw the clearest effects with resolving D2, we continued our, our experiments with this resolving and then evaluated the downstream mechanism. It has been de recently demonstrated that resolving D2 binds to the GPCR receptor GPR18. We observed by using all the, the antagonist O1918 uh, that resolving D2 acts on GPR18 uh, to block histamine-induced GP1 sensitization. Moreover, it's known that pertussis toxin by, uh, inhibits the binding of the, the subunit alpha to the receptor by pre-incubating uh, the RG neurons uh, prior to the resolving to with pertussis toxins. We observe that, th that this treatment blocks the effects of resolving D2 on histamine-induced uh, TF1 sensitization. Of interest, by using retrograde labeling, we found GPR18 in colonic and colon innervated neurons, suggesting that this resolving could have an effect on treating visa hypersensitivity. Uh, of interest, we observed that the resolving D2 uh, prevented and reversed uh, by treating uh, before or, or after the sensitization with, uh, with these supernatants. The sensitization of 351 induced by mucosal supernatants of patients with irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, treat, uh, treatment with this resolving did not have any effect uh, in DRG neurons incubated with uh, supernatants from healthy volunteers. And of interest, this effect on uh, on TF1 sensitization by supernatants of is a hybrid of uh, IBS uh, was also mediated by GPR18. Then we used uh, some mucosal uh, neurons of IBS patient and observed that resolving D2 decreased the calcium response of these neurons in patients with irritable bowel syndrome. Finally, by using two models of uh, visual hypersensitivity. We observed that uh, treatment with the, with the resolving D2 could uh, 
could uh, normalize uh, the, 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 the increased pain perception in these two models. Uh, to summarize, our study shows that resolvings and especially resolving D2 are able to normalize histamine and IBS supernatant induced sensitization of 3 one in those are root ganglion neurons, and this effect is mediated by uh, GPR18. Uh, moreover, resolving D2 restores uh, pain responses to colorectal distension in two preclinical models of visual hypersensitivity, which are a post infectious mouse model and a post inflammatory rat model. Finally, resolving D2 normalizes 3 3 one activation of submucosal neurons in rectal biopsies of patients with irritable bowel syndrome. Therefore, we foresee that our study provides evidence that resolving D2 represents a novel potential approach to intervene with visceral hypersensitivity and suggests that resolving D2 and other GPR18 agonists may represent interesting novel compounds to be further evaluated as a treatment for IBS. We encourage you to read our full paper and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much and see you soon.